And good evening. Sweeping reform in Syracuse. Mayor Ben Walsh putting pen to paper to change police practices. With negotiations with the police union looming, the mayor is making history during his administration. News Channel 9's Josh Martin on the beat for us tonight. We're not saying um, that, uh, that we're done or that, uh, that there isn't a lot more to do. Uh, there is, but uh, we're, we're we're taking action today. Mayor Walsh with a first for his administration. He signed an executive order to bring new reform to police in the city. Uh, what we've heard loud and clear from the community in recent weeks is that they want to see more progress and they want to see it faster. And as I've said at protests uh, and, um, and during conversations, um, we hear you. Uh, and, and, and we are going to move faster uh, and, and continue to make more progress. The reforms include making sure officers always use their body cameras when working. But right now, more than 100 officers still don't have cameras. Dashboard cameras for vehicles are on the way, too. The use of force policy that the city has shared with the public will also be reviewed. Those documents will also soon be online all the time for people to read. And in our schools, a new model for safety is on the way. Details on that are coming soon. Protesters marching are the ones that made it loud and clear for the city. Several groups have reached out to City Hall for reform. Walsh says even though there are 16 reforms packed into his first executive order, there's still more work to do. In Syracuse, Josh Martin, News Channel 9. And the mayor's three-part Syracuse police reform agenda also included a commitment to engage in dialogue with key stakeholders and protest groups. You can read all the reforms on localsyr.com.